Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Now, I have gone ahead and installed a few mods. Let's just test this one out first. Hey. Yay! <laughs> uh, cancel. Uh, I've... The text dialogue thing has been fixed so that it's no longer, you know, hideous. <laughs> well, so that you actually know what you're saying before you say it. All right, we should just fast travel. I've installed a few other mods as well. Uh, I'll have to go through and list them off. Uh, but first, let's go to Diamond City Market. I mean, I guess that's faster than to Diamond City and then through the market to Nyx. Okay, so now I gotta try and remember what I installed. <laughs> what I'll do New is, uh, we'll talk. I'll, I'll have a quick look. Oh, wow, you're tall. Why, thank you. Okay, so I just reminded myself of what mods I had installed. We've already seen one of them. It's the text dialogue one. I installed a mod that stops Preston Garvey from constantly giving you new settlement <laughs> uh, requests. I installed a mod that allows you to see like important items easier by making them like have a glow effect on them. Uh, that one's interesting because I've never tried that one before. Oh, I've never seen anything like it before. And one other mod that was just like a water enhancer fix thing. A couple of those mods I did actually already have, I just hadn't set them up. Uh, and the rest of them were suggested by Yellen. Yellen actually just suggested a few more mods as well, but um, I haven't installed them yet. I might still install them yet. There's one that I was looking at that I nearly Hi, went ahead with. I'm just asking for your opinion. Um, oh. Could be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? <laughs> well, well, speak of the I was gonna say, devil. snooping on my You're affairs. Back. And not with your son. What happened? Yeah, see, now we can actually see what we're gonna say before we say it. Yeah, most of these are pretty similar responses. Let's go with... You're right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son, but that wasn't all. He was working for the Institute. He gave them Sean. You're right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. <sighs> Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Hmm. So yeah, it still has little like indicators like sarcastic or whatever whenever you are choosing an option just to tell you that this isn't like honest. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they still have a bunch of things and these will still be orange or yellow or What's whatever. What's hard look? <laughs> Say something. I need to find I a way. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Uh, but if you're thinking it doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> um, the silent routine isn't getting us anywhere. <laughs> I like to think. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, yeah. a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Hmm. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Oh, I remember Got this a mission. Got vault in the old subroutines? <laughs> Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memory. Even if she was vaporized? He wasn't vaporized by me, but... <laughs> I hope you're right. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. 
enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Uh... I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, actually yeah. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, yeah. huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Um, I'll head there on my own. <laughs> I'll head there on my own. All right, see you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Oh, uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. I don't know you anything, Piper. <laughs> I've never been particularly fond of Piper, honestly. Like, she's fine and all. But, uh... Earl Sterling case file. Uh, but yeah, no, I've never really... <laughs> I've never had her as a follower. I much prefer the likes of Nick. And I like Dogmeat here. Dogmeat, you're good. <laughs> it's just... Oh, it's so cute. Right, I was gonna say before, uh, the mod that I'm thinking of getting that I haven't got yet uh, is the Vivid Weathers mod. It was one of the ones that Yalan suggested, uh, but it did say some things about, like, being dodgy with save files if it's if uh, it's removed or if, if something goes wrong with it. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I will might I might consider installing it later. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I won't have any problems, especially in the installation stage of it. Uh, but hey, just in case, I'm keeping it. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? <sighs> I just thought I'd keep it uh, vanilla for now, in that sense. Oh, right, I gotta do this. That's a mod that I should install. An FOV90 mod. <laughs> okay, so the next mission we got is to go to Amari. I'm gonna quickly level up. I'm gonna get the upgrade to get expert terminals. Uh, just because I know I've already had a few expert terminals that I haven't been able to hack and that pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, we've got a mission to go to Amari, but I'm thinking about going back and doing the uh, thing for Dance. Speak to Paladin Dance, yeah. I might just go there first. We'll do that for this first episode today. Uh, let's go to the Cambridge Police Station. I thought it was Columbus, but it's Cambridge Police Station. Alright, let's head in. So we helped these guys fend off a freaking mob, a horde of ghouls. So you gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane Alien to just message. take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> Night Reese. You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. <laughs> Sorry about the all other right. guys. All good. Oh, uh, why are you cutting why me? Why are so you much? cutting me so much slack? I uh, I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. <laughs> they used to be like you, wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, <laughs> it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol. This is bread and butter. And Reese? Right. Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? <laughs> I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Hmm. Right, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, once again, anytime I come up with one of those yellow or orange dialogue things, I'm gonna try it as much as I can. As, unless it's really bad. Uh, but let's talk dance. You ready to move out? Uh, sure. Ready. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. <laughs> yeah, he's got power armor. He's got a full suit of Brotherhood of Steel power armor. It's funny, in Fallout 3, you didn't have to... Uh-oh, it's doing that thing again. Because I tried to open the door right after he did. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so bad. It's one of those bugs that really should have been fixed by now. I'm sure there's a mod for that. Alrighty. I'm just gonna give myself a refresher of what the hell we were doing. That's right, we're repairing the Brotherhood of Steel communications array. Um, 
Yeah, we're going to find some pieces. We'll take this alley. Follow me. Yeah. Thankfully, Paladin Dance, because he's a huge guy in a big, uh, freaking power armor suit. He can do most of the work. <laughs> Our jet is a short hike to the west. If we hmm. take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Hmm. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. Getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy oh. readings in the area that need to be investigated. Oh. We don't know much about them. Oh, Except he picked up a pistol. And broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned right. that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting. It's interesting to read about the Brotherhood of Steel and what their deal is. In Fallout 3, they misrepresented the Brotherhood of Steel a lot. They made them seem like just uh, valiant good guys. <laughs> when Brotherhood of Steel are actually not quite so clear cut. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even get to shoot a shot, and it, that guy was dead. Okay. I'd surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical yeah. documents. The That's second what their deal is. That's what they do. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them, and they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite mm. our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Yeah. So his his squad is a squad of Brotherhood of Steel guys that uh <laughs> is one of the few survivors here. But I think you're supposed to do this before the Pridwin arrives. Uh because it well, as soon as the Pridewin or the Pridwin uh, arrives, suddenly, you know, it's like there's a huge Brotherhood of Steel prison. Okay. Get moving. Let's keep moving, I should say. The hell? They're constantly attacking each other, it's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Dance, for doing that for me. I was gonna steal their shit. Oh. Where's he gone? Oh, that was dog meat. I always freaking shot at dog meat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably like no one's said anything yet about uh, what direction they want me to go in terms of Brotherhood of Steel or Railroad. Uh, but I'm as I've said before, I'm leaning towards going with Brotherhood of Steel this time. Jet systems. There shouldn't be uh, any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. Cool. Uh, so yeah, if you let me know if, if you have any strong opinions either way, because uh, I still have not yet decided whether I'm gonna go with one or the other. Alrighty. Me first. Dance. Listen up. We do okay, never mind. <laughs> Just talk to him, no please. Heroics and buy the book. Understood. Understood. <laughs> that, that's. Uh. Understood. Yeah. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Mm. Don't worry, you won't be. Uh, do I have my I have my one leg brace on? Oh no, I also have an arm brace of some sorts. Oh. I can say I've been trying to put more armor and stuff on, but <laughs> I don't want to use radar stuff. They're filthy. Alrighty. <laughs> it was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. Mm. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Cool. Uh... Good, less security to worry about. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. <laughs> Never Look mind at then. the evidence. 
There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. Ah, uh, I see. I'll be, on the, I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. My guy's military or ex-military, so I'd like to think. Uh, <laughs> I like this to place is a mess. make him I speak still like see a he's few military. Of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Ooh. Looks like yeah, so that end. Institute and Brotherhood of Steel. Both like sweep areas to uh, get any valuables out of them. Uh, automated password change. Your new password is. Oh, so I just got a password. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I was gonna hack into it. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay, uh, lab controls. Nope, security door. Open door. Uh, let's go back to lab controls. Right, okay. Unable, unable to establish a connection to the prototype. Hmm. Nice work. Let's get detected. At least they have shit that I can steal from them. I'm busy using a... Oh my god, he was vaporized. I'm busy using frickin' uh, shotguns when I'd rather be using energy weapons. But I have no cells. Hello. Or very few cells. Is someone present? <laughs> I don't really have time to, to scan for stuff. On by accident. Uh, let's go to this. There we go. I much prefer the clean shots of a electric uh, of an energy weapon. Got it. It doesn't look like a door you should be able to lock pick. Um. Damn sense of compromised oh. most of the facility. Okay, he went this way this time. <laughs> he followed me instead. Remain vigilant. The other way around. Got turrets ahead. CEO's terminal. Oh, there's a there's an example of the glowing book. A big glowing book. Mars shot. I don't have time to read all this. Let's just read this one. Okay, so there's there's a thing called the Mars shot, and then there's the deep range transmitter. Interesting. Oh god. So yeah, tis the science. Excellent. These books now have like a glow around the edges of them, and the text is glowing as well. Energy weapons permanently inflict five percent. Plus five percent critical damage. Wonderful. I don't think we're alone. <laughs> uh, Over there. Get oh, that dialogue. No prisoners. Oh God. That's how we do it in the Brotherhood. Kill them all. Heads up. It's <laughs> All right. I'm taking all the shit that's around here. Um, provide fire support. Yeah, we did just that. Wonderful. Sorry, I know my face covers text on the screen a lot of the time. Uh, because there's always text on like all of the parts of the screen. Um, I'm just gonna not gonna to worry too much about uh, moving my face around for it. Uh, if it's important or if it's valuable information, I will just read it <laughs> out loud. Alrighty. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Oh, not not the sniper. Chucker. Alrighty. I know it says to follow dance, but I'm running ahead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, no, I should follow him, otherwise he's gonna stand still. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Hmm. Yeah, as I was saying before, like the both Brotherhood of Steel and the Institute, like, Look at this do sweeps place. of areas. 
field day in here. <sighs> for technology, and in the case of the Institute, raw materials, just generally raw materials. Brotherhood of Steel is most mostly focused on getting uh, old world tech. Control room at the top of the core, but it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll and like archiving it for now, and find a way to get the facility's power back online. They're kind of like historians, the Brotherhood of Steel. They archive has old tech, power backup system somewhere. but they use any of it that they can the use of that's useful chamber. to them. I'll remain here and watch our backs. All right. Oh, did dog just freaking leap off that? <laughs> okay, I need to restore auxiliary power. Don't think I can activate that, can I? No, power's out. Alright, he's gonna watch there while I go ahead. So now I need to be a bit more careful because he's not gonna be junk jet. Bingo. Oh, that's right, this is a weapon. Oh, I'm too heavy again. And this, this once again, this is another item that glows in the dark. Uh, technician's personal log. Wait, I should have played it. I should have hit play. Technician's personal, personal log there. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Hey. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mags. How cute. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, they're just, it was just recounting people uh, being upset with him. Or being like making fun of him. Warning. Sorry. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Okay. Ooh. Can I take that? <laughs> I just took the power. Oh uh, dear. All right. Let's let's hack this thing. Even though there's no power in the building. <laughs> okay. We've got four options left. Uh. I'm sure there's probably other things I've missed, other hackable things I've missed, but let's just try one. Harm. Likely this zero, so H A R or M in each of any of the spots is uh not valuable. Okay, it could be it still could be I mean we can just press all of them, it doesn't matter. Weak is also likely this zero, so it must be bonus. Yes. Yeah. Because the way that game is supposed to work is that you're supposed it's supposed to be a guessing game. You you choose an, an option. And it'll say, like, one of those characters is correct, or two of them are correct, or none of them are correct. Um, and uh, you can use that to determine what it actually is. But I, most of the time when you hack it, and you use the, the little hack option thingies, it brings it down so far that you can just guess all of them and, you, and you'll win. You only have, you have four wrong guesses. So um, if there's only four options, then you're guaranteed to unlock it. Power options. Uh, start auxiliary generators. There we go. Cool. Engine so there must be core power restored. Even though I turned off the well, I took the engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Oh, engine start. I see. Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. I don't want to start the engine with with a dance in there. Shit, there was something explosive next to me. No! You piece of shit. <laughs> Please tell me it auto-saved. <laughs> oh my god, it auto-saved at the start of here. Bastard. See, this is a, this engine start button is for that engine there. It's... <laughs> nice. let's, just, let's just pick this up and give it back to Dog again. It said, I don't want to start it right away because that's going to cause the engine to fire. We're just gonna freaking hurt or kill Dance. Oh, right. Activate the engine cause rockets an optional mission. And standing Let's by not do for that. Command. Not until we get Dance to safety. Dude, that exploded. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I think I just forgot to heal last time. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Protect me then. Oh god, no, 5-5. Five, five. Heal! Okay, dance, can you just get in here? Oh, he's got power armor on, of course. <laughs> Command accepted. Commencing 5 second countdown. 
Five. Uh oh. Four. Three. Oh my god. Two. He, he, <laughs> he secured it before I even. One. Get in there. Engine firing. Is it gonna fire right through this hole? There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, how pointless. Because I know it still works, though. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. That's very efficient. Paladin dance. Oh. Enough chatter. Oh, he was we saying something about the rocket. Damn it, I interrupted him. <laughs> Shit. Well, that was... <laughs> that was really dumb. That was like the dumbest way it's ever done. Ever happened. I'm sure that you've never seen someone go through that as dumb as <laughs> just did. Uh, let's steal all their fusion cells. Well, I got a ton of fusion cells for that, which I'm freaking grateful for. Uh, now elevator. Going down. What is Dad doing? What are you doing? Paladin. Alright, check your corners and keep it quiet. Get in the elevator. <laughs> Get in the elevator. Let me just press the button. <laughs> Going up. <laughs> just leave them behind. Dog meat reappears here automatically. I don't intruder on Oh there he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> freaking fall out and it's warping. Wow. Over to him. Oh, never mind. Oh, does this guy have no? Never mind. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. Deep range transmitter. been after the transmitter as well. Yeah, it's right here. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Yay! Let's just check the room for other valuables. Oh, engine core control terminal. Oh, you can begin the test fire from here as well. Interesting. All right, let's go down the service elevator. Uh, cool. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> Get in the elevator. Is he gonna get in the elevator? <laughs> no, okay, I guess I've gone solo again. <laughs> Uh, there they are. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think these actually work as a load screen. They hide the normal loading screen by having you just sitting in an elevator. Except that if dance, like if the, oh, if the other people in the elevator would actually talk, oh, shit, uh, then it wouldn't be so awkward. I'm pretty sure some of them do though. I I recall. That sounds like a vertebrate. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I'm following you. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Yeah. Smoother? I thought we did fine. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweet was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. <laughs> However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm Yay. not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I thought we worked well as a team. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. Yay. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. Oh. May it serve you well in battle. So there's a separate brotherhood. Oh, and he gave me 250 bottle caps. 
Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter fills 15% faster. Oh, so yeah, this is the Brotherhood of Steel laser rifle, is it? Like, it looks a lot like the standard laser rifle, but... <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, this is the Righteous Authority, uh, which is actually a really cool uh, laser rifle. So yeah, I'll probably use this. I'll take it. Don't you need to keep it? Uh... Don't, you, Don't need you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Hmm. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. Uh, we had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Yeah. Should I just go for it? Screw it. I'll be, be honored, honored to, join. to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Yay! <laughs> we are now Brotherhood of Steel, which should mean that as long as we don't piss them off, uh, Brotherhood of Steel, actually, they wouldn't have attacked me anyway. I was going to say, Brotherhood of Steel should no longer attack me uh, if I'm, if you know, out and about, and there's Brotherhood of Steel out and about as well. I don't think they normally do attack you. It's only if you make an enemy of yourself to them that they'll attack you. Uh, but you can easily accidentally make yourself an enemy to, of them. But if you're on their side, it's, it's way harder to, to accidentally. Report back to the police station. I'll yeah. be there soon. Just need to survey the area for technology. Yeah, all right. Uh, I should get myself a, uh, my power armor. I should get, I should figure out a good way to keep power armor online permanently and I should give myself power armor. That's part of why I decided that I was like, I kind of want to do Brotherhood of Steel this time because I want to try using power armor more often. Because in the original, my original playthrough, I used power armor like once for that first mission and then I just never used it again. And that sucks. <laughs> it's like a whole piece of the game that I've not explored. So. Uh, we can either go back and hit hit back and do that, or we'll go to Good Neighbor. I think we'll we'll leave that mission there for for this for today. We'll go to Good Neighbor and try and see if we can do the rest of this uh, this Sean searching mission. And I realize I've been misspelling Sean <laughs> for the like video descriptions and stuff like that, because uh, in game it appears that he actually I'll go back to Sanctuary quickly. It appears that he is named Sean A U N, not A W N. Oh, did I level up again? I already leveled up again, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's a level above expert. I forgot there was a master level. Shit. I think we're gonna get the medic perk. Because I've already found myself wanting more healing per syringe of stim- of Per stim syringe. Why is he in there? You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. I would kill you if I could. <laughs> I really would. Alrighty, I've dumped a bunch of my stuff here. Let's head over to Good Neighbor. The closest waypoint is uh, Park Street Station, which is where we were going to Vault 114 for uh, for Nick in the first place. Okay, uh, that's Park Street Station there. Good Neighbor is through this way. Let's stay hidden. Oh, there's a ghoul right there. One second, I'm gonna just check. I feel like there's a well, there's a button for moving slowly, isn't there? Oh, I set it to C. I don't know why. But if I hold C, I can walk real slow. Oh god. That's amazing, he did not see me until he was so close. Uh, bats. I only 57 when I'm attacking there. <laughs> oh. I have so little friggin' so little AP. Okay, we're good. 
I'm not too far from Good Neighbor. I just don't remember which way is the fastest and safest way to go. So yeah, if I hold C, I can move real slow. It's the, um, it's the run button. So there's like three different levels of movement in this game. Oh, this is a freaking super mutant. Then Let's go round. Let's go this way. Oh. oh. Dogmeat was pushing me towards the mongrel. I think there are raiders in there. Oh, there are raiders up there. I see now. Is this not good, neighbor? Can I not enter through this? Oh, here we are, maybe? Nope. <laughs> I will find my way in. I just don't remember which way is the right way in. No! Don't attack freaking dog meat! Why did. <laughs> it wasn't in his way when I was looking at him, like, in first person. Oh my god, dog meat. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I, I've also considered um, you getting the mod that allows you to equip anything with anything. I don't know if I'll do that. It does feel a little bit cheatsy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, dear. I remember this. I remember this here. I keep pressing alt instead of... Let's take it real careful, like, around here. This is a super mutant base. I know I can go up the side here. I'm pretty sure you can get into good, good neighbor through this side path over here. I ain't coming in for your stuff. Stay back. Oh. Why? God damn it. doing that old corner bookshop bookstore quickly <laughs> quickly cavalier's raider right arm <laughs> okay. Hey. I'll take it just because it's a special item. Oh. Get him, dog meat. Never mind. I got him. Okay, I think we're. This is a good neighbor here. Oh? What'd you find, boy? Oh, you found a freaking mine? <laughs> Dog me! What the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Piece of shit! Uh... <laughs> why, dog me? Why? I think we were really close to the front here, and then I went freaking round because I thought that. Yeah, I think we got got close before, and then I took a wrong turn. Ah, uh, but yeah, this is good neighbor. This is like the, it's not a raider town, but it's like the lowlife town. <laughs> this is where all the uh, people who want, who like crime and debauchery, like the good kind of crime and debauchery. <laughs> uh, let's put this away. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? 
You can't go walking around without insurance. <laughs> you better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. <laughs> we'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, 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 time out. <laughs> Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? Yeah, this is uh, you ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said, let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Doesn't he shoot him in the face? Oh, nope. Stabs him in the gut. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. <laughs> you all right? Take this shit. Uh, you, you're a ghoul. You killed him. Not every day I get mugged and then witness a murder right in front of me. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. <laughs> Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Uh, you feel me? Everyone's welcome. Hmm. Uh, sounds like Anna. Yeah, I yeah, feel you. I feel you. Good. You stay cool, <laughs> and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you Blend remember in. who's in charge. Yeah. So yeah, they're they're pretty. They wear their heart on their sleeve in here. <laughs> they uh, well, let's steal his road leathers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Neighborhood watch. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So this is basically. Another town, a bit like Diamond City, except it's called Good Neighbor, and it's uh, a little more rough than Diamond City. A little more lawless. A third rail. That's like a that's a bar, isn't it? That's like a club. Yeah, and that's right. Hancock is always at the top of it. He's always like monitoring because that's like his establishment, as far as I, I recall. Hotel Rexford. Does not look like a hotel to me, but. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, and then we've got Scully Square. It looks like a um, like a theater, but it's it's where we're gonna go to. Um, yeah, it's the Memory Den. It's some weird sci-fi stuff. <laughs> and I believe. Well, well, yeah. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. <laughs> hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. <laughs> hey, Nick. I guess I'm just gonna follow Nick. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is like, we don't even talk, we just like walk up. Nick says something to her. We follow Nick down. <laughs> Don't even say anything to Nick. And our dog comes with us into what I'm assuming is a lab Dr. Amari. situation. Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. <laughs> uh, this one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, <laughs> but it's not going to be easy. <coughs> the perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, <laughs> you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Uh... Some expert you are. <laughs> Please, Nick, tell me, uh... Technically, the corpse was all uh, was defiled already. Uh, isn't there some way, to make, there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Uh... <laughs> Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain. <laughs> uh, here's what here's I, what what I, I could, could find. find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. Looks disgusting. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. 
Go on, Go doctor. on, doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't mm. worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's such a dumb response. This will work, Nick? You gonna talk? You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> Let's <laughs> see here. I need I think, you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. I think any if I'm not mistaken. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Um... How do you lock memories? <laughs> How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. <laughs> Still, it was in a, a living mind. mind. wouldn't be able to Weird. crack it. But what if we used to? Yeah, this is why I was, I was waiting for this you to be and the Mr. Case. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. It's a whole lot of, like, a lot of the sci-fi in Fallout is relatively possible. And then you go into this kind of shit, and <laughs> it's like, it's, um, science fantasy. I mean, it all, it's all science fantasy, but this is like the extreme science fantasy. Alright, yeah. let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> See you on the other side. Alrighty. I'll probably, we'll probably get into the mind and we'll leave it there. We won't actually explore the mind fully. We'll leave the mind exploration for next time. <laughs> the classic. Initiating Fall out. Wave Please stand by. Between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the Aww, transplant. Aw, dog meat. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The I simulation out for a appears there. to be working, Oof. although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Yeah. This is where there. it gets... This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This is where it's like super weird. Um, and it reminds me a bit of, um, or I, I should say probably Life is Strange reminds me a bit of this. Because there are scenes in Life is Strange that Remember, play out you are just like this. Remember, these memories as Kellogg. Where, um, this may prove disorienting at first. Yeah, we go into these like fragments of memories and stuff like that. We'll do this next time. So, we are inside Nick's mind which has a fragment of Kellogg's mind inside it. So, <laughs> we're going to see what we can find about our son and about the Institute next time on Fallout 4. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. If you have any other little, like, modifications that are just, like, quality of life type stuff uh, that you suggest for this playthrough, let me know in the comments down below um, or on Discord. If you have an opinion about whether I go with Railroad or Brotherhood of Steel, let me know. Although I've already joined the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, but I can just not do their missions. I can still go over to the Railroad and do their missions if you prefer. I might even put a little eye thing up the corner, up on that side of the screen. Uh, it'll probably flash at the start of the episode though. Uh, just in case people want to use that. I don't know if anyone's going to touch that. <laughs> but whatever ends up happening. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.